welcome back to another Xiaomi Tips and Tricks tutorial. In today's lesson, we are going to have a look at the security app built into MIUI. Now, the security app is going to be your new best friend when it comes to various different tasks found within your phone. So let's get straight into it and simply tap on security. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the security app is primarily used for keeping your phone optimized, virus free, and also a great way to manage your battery life and your data. So we're going to have a look at that today and actually show you all the cool new tricks that you can actually use. First thing I've got, you want to make sure that you focus on this area found on your screen. This of course includes cleaner, data usage, block list, battery, virus scan and permissions. We're going to go through each one of these today and teach you all what they are and how to use them. Now primarily security is an optimization area where it will optimize your battery usage, data usage and all in all keep your phone running smoothly like the day you originally got it. Now as you can see on my screen my phone is running at 78% optimization and I want to go ahead and push that up back to 100%. So to do that simply tap on fix. My phone is running through its actual internal memory. It is scanning through all various parts of the phone to make sure the phone is running 100%. Telling me I need to activate one or two things to make sure that my phone is running smoothly, like Me Cloud and locked apps. But I don't need to do that for the second. You guys can choose whether to turn it on and off. For me, I'm just going to go back and leave it. Secondly, we're going to go into Cleaner. Now, these are the various six applications that will be used on a day to day basis to help you manage your phone. Now, as you guys can see, I just tapped on Cleaner and I said Clean Up. And what this goes through is essentially freeing up some storage on the phone. Now, I have a couple of um, apps here that are actually taking up unnecessary storage on my phone. And that's actually taking up 253 megabytes of storage. I want to fix that up and free up some space. So I simply tap on clean up 203 megabytes. And one, two, three. There we go. I have freed up some extra storage. This, of course, will take you even further and help you and show you various different ways how we can actually free up more storage, but you can explore those further. Next up, we want to look at the most important one, and that is data usage. Now, with our phones being incredible devices using dual SIM technology, sometimes you actually have only got one gig of data on the SIM card, and you want to make sure that that SIM card is really being used effectively, and you also maybe even want to see what is using all that data. So to do so, simply go into data usage and we'll take it from there. So currently, today I have used 49.13 megabytes on my SIM card, which is great, but I don't know where that megabytes and data went. And I want to know now, where did that all go? So simply tap on data usage stats, I can actually see what was taking data this month. So I can go this month, I can see just basically my application on my phone took up 45.9 megabytes, whereas the rest of the apps hardly used anything. So that way I've actually was very, very good so far my month on how much data I used. So if we go back, we can actually set the data usage limit. Now to a lot of people, this is the most important part. You go set data usage limit. You can actually say peak data limits. You can tell the phone how much you actually get per month. I'm going to change it to 250 megabytes. And it says show usage notification shade. You want to make sure that's on. Now that I've done that, my SIM card will get 200, tell me that I've got 250 megabytes of data. Over here, it will tell you how much warning level it is. So if I hit 80% of my data, and that means that I've consumed 80% of data, it will give me a warning message saying, well, you've used X amount of data. Please make sure you're aware you haven't got much left. So that is where you can choose and custom move the slider to whatever warning message you want. From there, you can also set the reset date. So I know for on the first of every month, I get 250 megabytes. To a lot of people out there, such as MTN users, you will receive megabytes on the 21st, perhaps. You can change this date so that the phone knows on that particular date to reset the stats back to square one. Additional settings we can have a look at is you can, for instance, if I had 250 megabytes of data, but I've run out, and maybe I go to the shop and actually purchase more data. You wanna make sure you go to additionally purchase data, and you'll type in how much data you actually bought, so that the number of your peak data limit increases to all nullifies itself to make sure that you guys can always monitor 
your usage. You can also select applications on where to ignore data. So if you know you're not using too much data on your WhatsApp, you can actually tell the phone to ignore looking at the WhatsApp data usage. That way you can sort of reject it from your findings at the end of the month. So if we go back, I have now activated 250 megabytes of data warning. And as you can see, I have remaining 200 megs, which is great for me to know how much data I need to budget for for the rest of the month. You can also go into restrict data usage. Now, restrict data usage, you can actually choose what uses mobile and what uses cellular. So right now, I've actually deactivated all my applications from using cellular connectivity. That way, I actually save data. But then nothing actually works. So you want to make sure that you really choose what uses mobile and what uses Wi-Fi. That way, you can be always being able in contact. Now, other things, of course, this is all to do with applications. You can also fit around with the systems. Now, please be in mind, if you are going to mess with this, a lot of functionalities might stop working when you're on cellular data. Just know if things are no longer working, like you can't download new calendars, can't download new emails, you can't, for instance, back up your photos for some reason, or you can't even go on Chrome. You want to make sure that have you switched off the mobile data section in your security app? If so, please make sure that you switch it back on, such as this. You'll see it'll have a whole lot of notes like this. You might have fiddled before and have actually stopped your phone from using cellular on those apps. But for today, I'm going to leave them all green because I don't want to now go home and then have to worry about my phone not working. And that is how you manage your data. Thirdly, you can have the block list. And in the block list, for instance, you can actually add phone numbers to this list. If you add these phone numbers to this list, you will not receive any SMSs, phone calls from that particular number. So if you, for perhaps for extreme example sake, have a stalker on your hands and you want to get rid of that person from getting hold of you, put that number that they keep phoning you and harassing you in this list and you'll be rest assured that that number will no longer communicate with you. The phone will block it away. It will not come through. You can keep adding on this. Maybe you want to see if you want to delete a number. You can delete it from here as well. But this is a very cool feature. If you are getting harassed or getting spammed from some certain numbers, you can put those numbers in here and rest assured they will not get through to you. Let's go back. Number four I want to look at is battery. Now, battery is where you can actually see how much battery life you've got remaining, how much you've used, and what apps are actually using all your data. Now, if you look on the screen, mine says analyze battery usage. Same as when we want to analyze our phone, the phone will automatically analyze the battery and cause it to cool down and obviously improve my battery life. Now, I can actually see here, battery saver is off. So what is battery saver? It is an application that monitors the background process and turns off synchronization. Battery saver will turn off automatically when your battery is 60% or 100% charged. I want to switch that on. That's actually quite a cool feature. Now, my phone's battery life will greatly improve. Battery use, I can actually see what applications are using all my battery. So if your phone is really, really struggling and you don't know why there is no battery life left, you can actually see in here from what hardware is using all your battery life and what apps are always using your battery life. You can see from today, my screen is consumed by 88% of the battery usage is my screen and the rest of it is very minimum. So really my screen is trying all the battery life. You can also go into app battery saver and this is a cool setting where this application will restrict data in applications. So if you're for instance on Facebook, this will allow you to use certain sort of battery saver restrictions. So you can restrict background activity so that Facebook will not use any battery in the background. This is a very powerful tip if you want to save a lot of power and then Facebook's using a lot. But MIUI battery saver really is a recommended setting from us to make sure that that is running smoothly and your application does not get hampered in any way. I'm going to go back and look at the next one, and that is virus scan. Now, we are working on a phone that uses Android, and one of the biggest things in the Android world is very susceptible to viruses. And if you are, for instance, the unlucky people that do not have an antivirus on your phone, sometimes bad things can happen to your phone, like a loss of information or your phone is wiped out. Now, MIUI is incredible software because it comes free of charge built in 
security against viruses. This, so for you, rest assured, you don't have to really worry too much about app viruses getting your phone because your phone is actually protecting itself with its own built-in virus scanner. Now this is of course being used by Avast, which is an incredible, powerful um, antivirus company. So you can be rest assured that the viruses are being blocked by the world's best um, computer software. Now you can go further and it says, um, for instance, my phone is everything's looking good, so I have no viruses on my phone, which is good. But if you had one, this phone would be able to fix it for you automatically. Now, obviously, there are other ways that you can also make your phone um, improve by auto start, apps, and cleaner. These, of course, will clean up the trash, prevent apps from opening up when you switch your phone on and off. And also, you can delete rarely used apps to save storage and battery life. We're going to leave all of those untouched today. It's just for example's sake. Last thing is, of course, permissions. Now, permissions is where you give access to applications to do things on your phone, such as access your photos, take a photo, or use your GPS. Now, you can actually change what those applications have the right to use via this area. So you can also choose what apps will be opened when you auto start the phone. So you can actually switch these all off to make sure that these apps will not automatically switch on when the phone is um, actually turned on. So I'm gonna leave WhatsApp and Facebook on. So when my phone switches on, WhatsApp and Facebook are automatically put into the RAM so that my phone is ready to use those apps as soon as I want them to. You can also use permissions. So what are you using? Calendar, camera, contacts. So what are you using my camera? So you can see these are the various different apps found in my phone that are actually using the camera functionality of my phone. You can choose to switch those on and off. The biggest thing that a lot of people are worried about is are apps tracking me and using my phone's GPS coordinates? To see if they are using that, you simply go into location and you can actually switch on and off what apps are using your GPS. But notice if you switch it off here and you do go back into that application and you do need it to use GPS, your phone will tell you, sorry, but your phone is not connected to the GPS. So, and now if you look at the very bottom of the screen here, MIUI and the security app are recommending various other things that you can do to your phone to improve it, such as second space, dual apps, app lock, deep clean, and all other kinds of sort of you know improvements to the phone. Now these of course are MIUI recommending things that you can add to your phone. You do not have to do them. For instance, second space is a great way of running two separate versions of two different phones on one phone. Uh, there is a YouTube video in our tutorial section that you can watch to figure out how and how, what that is to how you use it. There's dual apps, how to use dual applications. So for instance, you can have two WhatsApps for your two SIM cards that you have in your phone. So again, two WhatsApps on a phone is incredible if you guys are running personal and business lines. You can lock apps with passwords. So for instance, Facebook, no one will be able to get in Facebook without a specific pin. And there are other ways. So I do give you guys some you know, advice when you want to go look at these, go watch our YouTube videos and learn how these work. And if you want, you can actually switch these up on in this area. But that's really it from the security app that is built into the phone. So it's a really powerful software. And again, this is free of charge built inside MIUI. Other mobile phones out there don't feature this kind of security. And this is a great benefit to our MIUI fans out there, you know, that makes our phones so incredibly powerful. But me, from me here at the Xiaomi offices, I just want to say thank you to everyone for watching this tutorial. If you guys liked it, make sure you hit that thumbs up icon. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. And that's pretty much it. Have a great day for everyone. Goodbye.